What do we got here? How to craft the okay, yeah, okay. Boundaries. Where the hell are you? Get in. All right, where are you, kid? You gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> What's that? 
What's this? Got it. <laughs> Guess I'll come back later. Burn out these nests. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. Well, it sounds like something she would. Scrap. the hell do you want? I'm just taking a look. I'll be here if you need me. Later. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, uh, you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, come on. Hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh. 
Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The anti They're not enough. They're never enough. Don't wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, are you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane is doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Weeks back, Medicine, we were doctor shit, cargo hold full road. of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fuck's almost naked and antibiotics. Scarred up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Joseph Where? Hey, keep your voice the down, will you? Let's Duke talk inside. Rest in peace. They worship. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it. Now you don't. Right about. Here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... Okay, yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. You see it? Yes, Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. Hey, do you think Guess we'll never run out of fire remember wood. anything? That's something, right? About their life, you know, from before. It's like a bunch of Alzheimer's patients. <laughs> you need something? Just looking for some stuff. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. I'll be here, if you need me. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Later, Deke. Now, it's clear. Hold 
Hold on, I got it. Okay. Hey, St. John, you there? Yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. Excuse me, I've got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John. Now... Brother. I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your own goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the Rippers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride the open road. Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John, finally. Oh, yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy target?
Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. Almost got it. Come on, die. 
die already, you son of a bitch! Get it? Jesus H. Christ. One tough son of a bitch. Antibiotics. You'll find me some antibiotics. Yes, that's over. I gotta get him back to my bike. These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, God. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. No bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there! At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Stop you. Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, Starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days. Reach the point where they stop running from men like you. You ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot too. Bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William, 
William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, do we need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you. Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it. No, no. De no, you're not. No way. No, you're not going to do this to him. listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now, listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Wait. All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Dig. Dig. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! Right, damn it. We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gold. Ah! 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 Oh! No, no, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking. I'm and I'm crying. <laughs> Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addie. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon, get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. How's it going? Hey, how's life? All right, I got you. Don't beat her up too bad. Okay. No idea how to fix it. Later. Hey, do you think... Uh, hey, remember anything? Look, Addie wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list tonight, the loser would be in a hell of a 
lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve them up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen. Um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. I, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. I'll Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. Oh, Brian. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use know, one of these tracking know. devices. Set up the no, don't not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Okay, let's get this done. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. A freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Well, oh, Brian, out. Squad check. All good. All clear. Clear. How's the site look? Are we clear? We're all set. Right over I never got that. Got plenty of fuel. Easier said. Whole stage job. one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me. Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, Stay expressing a series that. of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer? Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is she done? Yeah. Okay, time to get the hell out of Dodge. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this 
virus, whatever the hell it is. What it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Link to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. Open up. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up like crazy lilies, scavenging, you know. Hey, man. Hey. I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, I, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. Heard it was Rippers. Is that true? That did it to him, I mean. Yeah, it was Rippers. Look, can we just... Can we not talk about it? Ah, got it. See ya. How's it going? Just looking for some stuff. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Bike's looking pretty busted. Okay. All right. Hey, see you later. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. No, <laughs> no. I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Work supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. You need something? Deacon St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. I'm feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... got tired of listening to the radio free organ. It only takes so much of this. Truth or false, you know?
Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together. <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, boys, man. I remember. I'm still feeling it, you know. <laughs> Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to hold me down, what would have happened to you? I don't know. Well done, Boozer. It's over. Hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're at a bad fucking round. Yeah, I the hear bunk, uh, call my name. Cross Lake signing off. Yeah, listen, Boozer. Boo Hey, Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. Find this guy. Deacon out. All right, Red, where the hell are you? Kill that son Newt. of a bitch! Oh, well, they're killing newts. No! Okay, what's this? We don't want to fight a bunch of freaks! Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Ooh, Prince. Uh, these look like uh, prints that some fancy cowboy boots would make. Here you are. Tobacco spit. Red Riley, you are one gross motherfucker. Stay there. Freak. More boot prints. Yeah, this way.
Oh, good. Urine. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Are you hiding, Red? He's gotta be here somewhere. something new every day. Hiding in one of these shacks. Huh? He had it coming. There he is. Mouthing off to me. I saw something. See, really.
This is it. Which way? Let's take a look around. All right, where? There you are.
funny. Hey, man. She's looking for some stuff. Shit. You really need a lot of fuel. There. Good as new. Sure. All right. See you around. Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Howdy. Hey, you. Nice, good haul. That's it for now. Not feeling well. Hey. Hey, Blair. How's life? Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. Here you go. Guy who sold me that said it was good. Okay. See you later. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got march duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right, I guess I can let you do that. Nice work. Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? We'll see. 
knapp. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed him up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. 
They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer? This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Say, John, you... Supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Boy, you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. What do you want? Nope. Trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lock boxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike, what the hell? You told me... You told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike. The place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here? Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out, me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here.
kicks in. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. We had ammunition left after all, and how well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said. Two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Locked. Place is locked up tight. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. We are intended to get them. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Weren't you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but... I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, <sighs> stay behind me. I got this. That's how it's
back behind you. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no dick i always saw a bit of myself in you back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friend don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet i don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right the thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. Standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> 